Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Last time, I forgot about this part here at the Witch Tower, and this is how you're supposed to know to go over to the Wildcat Cafe. So, yeah, I just totally forgot about this because I did it the first time I played the game, and you don't actually have to do this as a sequence trigger. So I just didn't do it in my more recent test runs and forgot about that. So that's how you're supposed to know. Thanks for pointing that out to me, viewers. Now, let's get back to the castle here and, well, get some ingredients for Tepeda. Shouldn't Tepeda be coming with us, though? I mean, what are you going to do while we're getting the ingredients? I mean, it's kind of hard to cook without ingredients. I mean, maybe he's going to bake a cake and then put some ingredients on top of it or something. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. Isn't it kind of unfair to have six chefs against one? Although, I suppose it's still going to take however long to cook them anyway, regardless of how many chefs you have. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, let's get down to... The basement. Let's see. Is there anything we can do here? No. For now. And yes, uh, w as many people told me, WC stands for water closet. Which, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I never heard that term before for a bathroom. We just well, call them bathrooms or washroom or something. I've never heard water closet before, but okay, that works. Now, in order to get down to the basement, the most logical course of action is to go to the roof. Absolutely. Now, seriously, you have to go up to the roof and in order to progress with the plot. Oh, no, I suppose not. So anyway, in order to get to the roof, now that the fake prince is out of the way, you go to the arrow. Haha, -ha, secret passage. So in order to progress with the plot, you have to go up here, and if you recall, there was the frog from before who was saying something about the prison guard, Tata, had gone missing. So we have to go up here to rescue him in order to advance the plot. Fiolina, okay? Well, at least you're okay. I'll bring a glass of water back for you. Where does this even go, anyway? Oh. Okay, it goes nowhere. Never mind. I was wondering what the point of that was. Where are, or where is Tepeda's bedroom anyway? I mean, they have the king's bedroom right there. Maybe he just sleeps in the water or something. I don't know, like a water bed, as it were. So once you've found Tata, you come back here to talk to Fiolina. And tell her we found him. If you say you found him before actually talking to him, she'll say, Hey, you jerks! How do you, how dare you get my hopes up? Or something like that. So yeah, you actually have to talk to him and find him in order to get her to move on. And then we can get down to the basement, surely. I don't know why they make this the only way to get down to the basement, but okay. I suppose it might be useful for repelling invaders, kind of like with uh, Windia there. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hmm, I wonder why I did that. I mean, Tapeta didn't seem to mind. Oh, yeah, I suppose. But you live in a kingdom with a king. Isn't he a tyrant? And for this part, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Oh, okay. Hey, all right. Oh, I forgot to mention, the two doors up here, they would have been locked, yeah, before you got the rooftop key, so you couldn't have done anything anyway. So let's take his stash of money and then get out of here. Those steps, they lead to a dead end, so I'm not going to bother with that. 
But now, in this part of the tower, we can find some hidden treasure in the walls. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of the original version of Final Fantasy IV that had some treasure that was bugged to be found in doorways or other areas where it shouldn't be. So, yeah, that's there. I, <laughs> I, I don't know how you're supposed to know to look for that. I did not find that on my own. I had a number of people telling me that after my first playthrough. So now we take these water barrels, I guess. Yeah, we take them, ride them down to the basement here because we can't use stairs. And now we can try to find that green bottle. Oh, that was fast. What is this, Nat Attack? No, no, that's another game, viewers. How are you losing to a fly? You're a frog! Eat it! High fiber. How powerful could the green battle possibly be? Have you ever gotten your ass kicked by a book before? For boss time! Okay, now this fight, I'll just tell you, it's scripted. It, you wait five rounds, and then you get to move on with life. It, I don't think it matters how much damage you deal to it, so you might as well just have everyone defend until you get past the five rounds. Actually, in the fifth round, you don't even get a chance to attack. The green bottle just attacks you, and then the battle automatically ends anyway. So, no point in wasting our resources. We might as well just try to keep everyone's HP as high as possible. And there we go. Hooray! What? Hey, get back here! Hey, how's it going? How did you even get here? Maybe they got locked back here or something. I don't know. And he died. Yeah, seriously, he, he died. Let's see, do we got enemies here? Whoa, holy crap. Obscenely high encounter rate. But yeah, this area is where... Uh, not Mina. Sten and Lin are really going to shine. Nina, not so much. I mean, she's still good. I'd rather take her than than Rand, but that's because I think Nina's, well, just more useful. Whoa. Yeah, I'll watch out then. Oh. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's get it on! Alright, here we got a few, new, or a couple new enemies here. Mimics! The thing with Mimics is that they are resistant, or they're, I think they're pretty much immune to all magic. But fortunately, we have Slice, that can really help us out against them. But, Sten's the only one who's going to be able to deal significant damage to Poltergeist, so I'm going to have him use his Silver Knife to take them out relatively quickly. And in order to work around their resistance to magic, I'm just going to have Nina use her Fire Ring, because when you cast a spell as an item, it ignores that magic resistance. I mean, I'm okay doing it, like, with something small, like the fire ring, but I don't want to just stack a whole bunch of consumable items that can be used to cast a spell and just bypass that for so many enemies in the game. Because then that can get obscenely overpowered there. So yeah, usually I would have Sten use Slice. Even though they're immune to magic, Slice would bypass that. So, and the nice thing about Sten is that he's fast enough to hit them with it before they can act, maybe. Oh! 
Oh, hey, a coin. That was something else I forgot to mention about the mimics. Yeah, they can drop a coin or gold in the official translation that you can use to find those fishing merchants there. So, yeah, it's not an ultra rare drop, but I don't think I'd like to rely on that. Another thing about mimics is that they can inflict the zombie status. And if that happens, just finish the battle because it'll go away afterwards. But okay, we got new enemies here. Let's see. Arachnophobia. Those guys can inflict poison on your entire party. So I'm going to have Lynn take him out because, well, she's got the fire staff there and she can exploit that elemental weakness there and one shot them and she's also fast enough to get the job done ha ha gotcha yeah don't even worry about the fire status or er, that fire uh, undead or zombie status whatever it is just just go and let's see a good slice out of Finish the job. Let's see, are we doing okay on HP? I thought I took some hard hits there. Mm, not that bad. We'll be fine. What's it in the water there? It was probably just my imagination. Pay no attention to that. Okay, before moving on here, let's see. Let's go... Well, I want to heal up as many party members as I can. Let's see. If I go with this, that should be good. But the rest I'm going to have to heal up with herbs. Let's see. I want to use a Wisdom Seed on Ryu because he gained a level. So I was going to have to use a Wisdom Seed anyway. So that's why I had him heal there because I was just going to take care of that anyway. Okay. Get everyone up to max here. And change I want to make to my equipment is I want everyone to equip a Dream Jewel. So that way we have protection from the sleep status. Otherwise, life's gonna get more interesting than I want it to be. Yeah, Wisdom Braces help against, or help with regular status resistance, but I want full immunity. And let's see, anything else? No, I think we're good. Oh, there's my condition. I just want to double check make sure everyone's still good or great specifically okay what's that sound whoa that sounds like boss time to me against the giant worm okay let's see let's go let's see he doesn't have any elemental weakness so i'll just use i don't know whatever flame dragon that should get the job done there. Let's see. I don't want to use my... Uh, what are they? I've got these ginsengs, or ginseng, sorry. I've got these for other boss fights. This one is not extraordinarily difficult, and doesn't have as much HP, so I'm not going to bother with the ginsengs to boost my attack stat at all. Let's go... Yeah, let's go with lightning. Why not? costs enough, it better deal some good damage. But yeah, as you can see, the sweet breath or whatever that was, yeah, can't even put us to sleep anymore. So yeah, that makes life a lot more convenient for us. Now, even if I didn't ban using dragon spells multiple times during boss fights, I still wouldn't use it here. This guy is like 11, a little over 1100 HP, so... I'm not even worried about that. We should probably get him in another round or two, I would think. Maybe if we get some critical hits, that would be nice. And one of the reasons why I'm having Sten use Slice instead of his basic attack is, well, as you can see there, the giant worm can potentially counterattack. So that's another good reason to bring Sten along and in, in Nina instead of Rand there. I will use Rand later on to bring him up to speed for his mandatory segments, but as far as like regular storyline advancement goes, I'm going to try ignoring him as much as possible. 
Alright, so we got... Well, we killed the boss. Hey, hey alright. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it will do. Ha ha. Nuts. Well, we can't get to the other side there. How are we doing here? We are... Yeah, we're doing okay. Oh, I should re-equip my iron braces. And then I'll meet you back a few rooms where we have to take the other path. To the right instead. So I'll just meet you back there then. Okay, we're back by the intersection here, where now we got to take the right path here. And on the way back, I gained a level for Sten there to learn Fire Blast. Yeah, that's going to be really good for Sten, because, well, there's going to be a lot of enemies weak to fire, and he's got the speed to take advantage of it. And also, on the way back, let's see, I've got... Yeah, I've won three coins. I don't think I've won... Three coins in all of my test runs combined, let alone now. So, I mean, I guess there's one that I could use to get some stuff right now if I wanted to. I'll think about it. Game? Hey, how's it going? Oh, is that supposed to be a reference or a song that I'm unaware of? I have no idea what any of that means, but okay. Ooh, treasure. Yeah, you might have noticed the treasure in the room where we found the green bottle. Or where we fought the giant worm there with the green bottle there. And we can get that in just a moment. We couldn't get it before because, well, they took out the bridge. So not much we can do about that. Hey, how's it going? What are you even down here for, anyway? Are you, like, guarding something? Or... I don't know. Ah. Oh. But you're frogs. I thought you guys loved insects. Ah. Oh. Huh. Which prince are you talking about? Okay, now this part is a little tricky because we got all these blue cockroaches everywhere. And if you get close enough to them, you will have to fight them. So let's see if I can't get the cockroaches to go the other way. Let's see, I don't think you can... Yeah, there's no random battles here. So I'm just going to keep on going until the blue cockroaches get out of my way. Or not. Yeah, I'm going to have to fight one of them to get to the left there. Okay, so, let's see, with the blue cockroaches, they are pretty much unremarkable in every way. So I'm not gonna do anything too special here. Unfortunately, yeah, we're just not, yeah. Sten's not gonna be fast enough. Not quite. So he'll get a big speed boost eventually, but for now, we just gotta take what we can get. But first, I want to take this. Ha ha. Yeah, that's the chest I passed up there earlier. I don't really care who I give that to. So I guess we'll just give it to Ryu because you can't leave the party ever. You can't part company with yourself. That would just be creepy. But can we defeat the green bottle and win the cooking contest for Tepeda? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.G. Bailey. Signing off. Have a good day.